Hello, and welcome to the Flame Ink channel. I'm your host, McFlyGuy862. In this, f in this video, I'll be showing you how to mainly um, how to recharge your items in um, Minecraft it, um, FTB using the factorization mod or whatever, using Direwolf Mod Pack or whatever in FTB. So, in general, how to um, recharge your items. Now, so this is what I've been doing so far. Um, so you'll need solar panels, you'll need solar panels, uh, solar array or whatever, redstone tube, red alloy wire, you don't need an MFE, uh, you could but you don't, MFSU which is more efficient, MFE, uh, glass fiber cable, timer, ender chest, and the filter now. So, you have the solar panels connected to the fiber tubes and it goes into the MFE. Now, you would connect the filters on one end like this. And, oh yes, and you need a screwdriver. Screwdriver. Mainly the screwdriver just turns things around more efficiently and I think this is the right way but I'm trusting this way more um, and you need this ender chest to go like this bam this is what you put stuff in uh, then you need the other filter and put it like this use screwdriver I think this is correct as it is um, right now, you want to dig down right here. This is probably the most compact and efficient way to um, do this. So, um, and then you use the tubes to go around like this and connect. So I think I did everything except you need this. And to put your wire on I, the walls and whatever, you have shift and then you just click like this and then there you go um, and in order for me to you actually get into the timer I need to use my bare hand and 32 is what I use so and then you would put your item in the ender chest so if you want to put gravitation thingamajiggers or um, but the thing is it's a little costly to recharge stuff because you need two you need a set so because um, the thing is you want to put this into here because and then it goes into the MFSU and the filter is anything that any of these that are empty come from here to here and then this is the tr fully charged one so when you put the non-charged one Okay, so when you have the non, ch the fully charged one will go in this filter, go through and go in here. But the thing about the filters is that these stay in here. So, and whatever that what's in the chest goes out into the MFSU charges, then goes all back around. So that's practically it. Um, I will show you in action what it, this does. So if you put it into the under chest. Um, Okay, and if this is incorrect, then I'll try to switch it the other way if it doesn't work. And so, I'll just wait until that works. Um, so, and this works the best with more than what I have now, more arrays, because the thing is you need to charge the MFSU. So, let me get over there. on okay yeah so um there we go okay so it's almost fully charged um this might be incorrect let me just see the timer okay where's my screwdriver i might have to turn these all around um okay there we go okay this has to be facing away 
and the other one has to be facing towards. So see, now it's charging. Okay, so you got that dilemma all fixed up. Yeah, so that's how you recharge your items in uh, FTB or whatever you're using. So regardless, that's how you um, how you do it. That's how you charge your items. So please like and subscribe if this has helped, and and see how it the thing went back in. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like, um, subscribe if you want to tune in for more tutorials, and always ask if you need help with anything. And thank you for watching.